everyone, it's Sarah, and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to crochet our checkered washcloth. Now, this is washcloth number one, or the January washcloth, in our year-long crochet along. And what we're doing is each month, on the third Monday of each month, I'm going to release a new washcloth pattern. Now this one measures 10 by 10. They may be different sizes and different shapes. And these can be used as a washcloth or wash rag or kitchen cloth or whatever you want to use them for. We're going to be making all of them out of cotton or cotton blends, depending on what yarns you want to use. And like I said, each month I'll release a video with a brand new pattern or crochet stitch pattern that we can incorporate into our washcloth as well as use it somewhere else. This particular checkered pattern would make a lovely blanket or a pillow, scarf or hat or whatever that you want to make with it. But of course today we're going to be making this checkered washcloth. Now you can find this free crochet pattern on my blog and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. To make today's checkered washcloth pattern, you're going to need two colors of any cotton or cotton blend yarn that you have on hand. This one was made with this lighter blue and this beige. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using this dark teal and a cream. You're going to need about one and a half to two ounces of each color. Um, and I'm saying one and a half to two because remember, we all stitch differently, some tighter, some looser, and I'd rather have too much yarn on hand than not enough. We're going to be stitching today with our H hook. This is a 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle to weave in ends and your scissors. We're going to be switching back and forth from our two colors. So I've got my color one, which is my cream, and my color two, which is this light or bright teal or aqua color. We're going to begin with our color one. We're going to make our slip knot, and then we're going to chain 36 chains. I have stitched my 36 chains. I'm going to begin by placing one half double crochet and the second chain from the hook. We're going to yarn over, go in that second chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three of those loops. That's one. We're going to stitch four more. Two. three, so here's one, two, three, four, and when we stitch our fifth half double crochet, we're going to go in, pull up a loop, but we're not going to finish that half double crochet. We're going to bring in our, our color two, or our next color, and finish that half double crochet with that next color. And this is the way that we change colors. All right, so we're gonna let that hang. We're going to make sure that everything is tidied up. And we'll be stitching over our cream or our color one, and we're going to stitch five half double crochets with our color two. So yarn over, we're going in the first chain and stitching around or carrying across that color one. Here's my fourth. Now I'm getting ready to stitch my fifth half double crochet. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to pull up my loop. I'm going to drop my color two 
and pick up my color one, yarn over and pull it through those three loops. Now we change colors this way so that we get a nice smooth five half double crochet stitches. Now if we would have gone ahead and finished that loop, this loop right here on our first half double crochet would have been cream and it's the same thing here. Let me show you just so you understand. Alright, so here is the fifth stitch. Let me get my loops in there. If I would have finished with my color that we're working on and then began stitching, see what would happen? My first stitch would have a top of a blue loop or the wrong color from here and it wouldn't make a nice smooth color transition. All right, and so that's why we change colors by finishing off the last stitch with our new color. Then we'll make sure everything's snug down and begin stitching our next five half double crochets. One, and again, we're stitching over or carrying that yarn from the previous color. There's our four. Make sure that you give that other color a little bit of a tug so it stays a little bit tight, but not too tight. All right, so one, two, three, four. This is my fifth. I'm going to change back to my other color, make sure everything is snug down, and then begin stitching my next five colors. There's the fourth, so I'm going to do my fifth. I'm going to grab my other color, pull it through those loops, make sure everything is snug down, and stitch my next five color, or my next five stitches in my next color. One, two, three, four, we're going to change back and repeat. Now before we do that, I just want you to look <clears throat> and you can see we have five of each color that looks nice and crisp with no extra loops because remember if we'd have done that the other way as far as the color changes, the loop of our first stitch would be the wrong color and we wouldn't get a nice crisp five stitches together. Also, we're carrying our yarn and stitching over it and it might peek through just a little bit, but that's okay. That's going to give us a nice thick washcloth. So we're going to finish our last two sections of five half double crochets. I've already done the color change on this one. So we're going to stitch one, two, three, four. Here's our fifth one. We're going to change back to color one. <clears throat> and then we'll stitch one half double crochet in the last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, when you get to the end of your row, we're going to chain one and turn. And that's the way, the strings out of the way there, that row one should look. Here's where we brought in, let me pull this down so you can see it. Here's where we brought in our color two. 
we have five of our first color, five of our second, back and forth. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 half double crochet stitches. We have one, two, three, four sets of the white and one, two, three sets of color two. All stitched in half double crochet. That's how row one should look. So we have our two colors. We're going to begin with our color one. I made my chain one. We're still going to carry or stitch over the opposite color. So we'll yarn over, we'll go right in that first half double crochet and stitch a half double crochet. And we'll stitch this exactly like we did the first row. One half double crochet in the first five. Now we're to our fifth stitch, so we'll go in, pull up our loop. We're going to switch to color two. Make sure everything's snug down, and we'll go to our next color, stitching our five half double crochets and stitching over our yarn. This is what's called carrying your yarn. If we didn't carry our yarn across and stitch over it, we would have to cut that yarn and weave in for every color change. It's very time consuming to do that, but also by carrying our yarn, we're making a much sturdier washcloth. And so row two is exactly like row one. The only difference is we're stitching in half double crochets instead of the chains. We're still stitching five, changing colors on the last stitch, and then stitching our five. This entire washcloth is stitched in half double crochets until we do the trim. So I'll continue across repeating what we've done. Five half double crochets, changing colors on the end of the fifth, five half double crochets and repeat across the rest of this row. I finished row two and row three, we're going to chain one at the end of row two and turn and we're going to repeat what we did on row two. One half double crochet in those first four stitches, making sure that we're stitching over or carrying our yarn. One, two, three, four. Then in our fifth stitch, we begin our half double crochet, finish it with our second color, and repeat. And so what we're doing for row three is exactly what we did for row two. And this is the way that our checkered is going to work. We're going to have three rows and then we'll switch our colors and we'll do that in just a second and then we'll stitch three rows and repeat. All right, so for row three, we're just repeating row two. We're stitching those five half double crochets, making sure that we change colors at the end of our fifth half double crochet. and that we're stitching over or carrying the yarn of the other color. So just repeat row two. At the end of row three, this is how your washcloth should look. We have three rows of half double crochet and then alternating every five stitches to different colors. We've got, of course, our four of our cream and our three of our blue, which is our color two. All right, now we're going to be switching and doing the opposite, so we'll be starting with our color two. So instead of doing our chain one with our color one, we're going to do our chain one with our color two. Then we'll turn our work and we'll stitch it exactly the same. The only difference is we're going to be doing opposite colors. 
So we have our chain one in our color two. We're going to stitch a half double crochet in the first stitch. And again, we're stitching over that yarn that we're carrying, which is our color one. And again, when we get to our fifth half double crochet, we have our three loops. We're going to change to our second color, which is our color one, and stitch those five half double crochets. And so basically, we're doing the same thing, one half double crochet in each stitch across, and we're changing colors every five stitches, like we did on rows one through three, the only difference is we're doing the opposite in our colors. Now, something I wanted to tell you about, if you feel like you can see your carried yarn too much, you can always tighten up your stitches. If the H hook is making it a little too loose for you, go down to a G and it will tighten it up some. If it's too tight, you can always go up to an I. Remember, everybody stitches differently, some looser, some tighter. So you need to do what works best for you. Another thing is as you're stitching over your carried yarn, make sure that you're giving it just a little bit of a tug so that it stays where it's supposed to be. And what I do, when I get to that fifth stitch, here's the fifth, I'm getting ready to make my color change. I like to give that carried yarn just a little bit of a pull and then bring it in, and then I snug down the color that I changed from. And that will also help in making it lay nice. All right. Another thing that will happen, you'll notice that because we're switching colors, your yarn might get a little bit twisted. And so what I do after I do each row is I take the ball of yarns that I'm working with and I just untwist them. I would rather take the few minutes and untwist my balls of yarn or skeins or whatever you're working with than fight with having my yarn all twisted up. And it gets twisted because we're changing colors so often. Alrighty, just some tips to help you to make your washcloth go faster and neater. All right, so I'm gonna continue along working on row four, one half double crochet in each half double crochet, changing colors on my fifth, stitch of each color change and working at the opposite colors from row three. I've completed row four. Here are my five, 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 and we now have four of the color two and only three of the color one because we did the opposite. All right, so because we're not changing colors yet, we went ahead and did our chain one in the color that we're going to be starting. Because we're going to be repeating row four for two more rows, because remember, each of our sections is three rows of half double crochet. So I chain one in the color that I'm working with. We're going to turn and repeat one half double crochet in each half double crochet across, changing colors every five half double crochets. And remember, we do that color change in the last stitch or the fifth stitch. Do our color change, snug everything down as I say, and do the next five in our next color. And remember also to stitch over your yarn that you're carrying. And 
there we go now we're going to do this for row five and then we're going to repeat it for row six so we have three rows of half double crochet in the opposite color of these three so this is how your washcloth should look after row six you've got three rows and then three rows doing the opposite colors and remember it's all stitched the same it's all half double crochets it's about when we change colors and so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to doing it this way with the colors opposite from these so here is my last half double crochet I'm going to bring in my color one with a chain one and turn and so I'm back to doing my color one first so right in that first stitch stitching a half double crochet and then we'll stitch until we reach that fifth one There we go, a little bit of a twist. All right, so now I'm in that fifth stitch. We're changing back to our color two, snugging everything down, and repeat. We're stitching those five half double crochets of our opposite color and again remember we change colors on the last of the five stitches snug everything down and keep going all right so what we're going to be doing is continuing to repeat three rows this way and then three rows this way where the colors are the opposites so what we're going to do is like I did on this one. We have three rows and then we have three more rows, but they're stitched the opposite. Every row will have 35 half double crochets. It's all stitched in half double crochets. You'll have three rows and then you'll switch your colors and make three rows of half double crochets like we did and then you'll repeat these three rows then you'll repeat the next three and then you'll repeat the next three the next three and the next three and you'll continue to do this alternating your colors until you reach row 21 so you'll have one two three four rows like the first three and then you'll have one two three sets of rows like the second and remember each of the three or each of the color changes have three rows of half double crochet all right and we're going to repeat this up through row 21 alternating our colors but always stitching in half double crochets once you've stitched your 21st row you're going to cut off one of your colors now I'm cutting off my color one you can do one or two it doesn't matter it's just whatever color you want to do your trim and I want to do mine in the teal so I'm going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and we're going to stitch evenly a row of single crochets down the side of our washcloth so I'm going to go right in that first stitch and for me the best way to stitch an even row is to try to get one single crochet in the end of each of those half double crochet rows and I like to try to go in the stitches not the holes I'm also stitching over that tail of yarn where I cut off my first color that's just going to help me weave that in later another thing as you're working down the side of your washcloth you want to try to cover up anywhere where you carried yarn 
This way you have a nice even edge on your washcloth. So I'm just going to continue stitching down the side of my washcloth until I reach this first corner. I've stitched my single crochet edge on this first side and it brings me to my first corner. And so we stitch two single crochets in that first corner and that just helps it lay nice coming around the corner. And then we're just going to stitch across and this is the bottom where we had our original chain so we can just stitch a single crochet in each of those chains. We'll work our way across. We'll stitch two single crochets in this next corner and then work our way back up the other side. Basically, we're stitching a trim of single crochet all the way around our washcloth. I have single crocheted all the way around the edge of my washcloth. I'm back up here where I started. I'm going to place a single crochet in the same stitch as the first one I did and then join to that first single crochet. Cut my yarn. Now I'm going to go in that next set of loops underneath and just pull that loop to the back side. And that's just going to give us just a tidier look to our washcloth. And we'll tie that off. And see how that looks a lot neater than if you have the little bump that it usually leaves? Now I have a few ends to weave in, but that is the way that your washcloth should look. And I'm really liking the cream in the sort of aqua teal that this one is. So this is our checkered washcloth, which is our January washcloth for our year-long crochet along for 2020 washcloth of the month. <music>